Good morning and welcome to another daily vlog here in Munich. And Sam is over there. Hi. <laughs> he is a lot brighter than me in the morning. He wakes up a lot earlier than me. But it is 8 o'clock. We're going to head downstairs, have some breakfast. I'm not sure I'm looking forward to a German breakfast. Sam has prepped me on the sort of things that are available. And fingers crossed, I can just get like a bacon sandwich or something. And then we're going to hit the road pretty much all day. Our flight is 9 p.m. So we're going to aim to hit the airport at around 7.30ish. So we've got... Near enough 12 hours with a few stops in between, we're going to jump out, hopefully get some pretty cool picturesque drive-bys, photo shoots, all of that sort of stuff with the gold chrome Mustang. I'm going to learn a little bit more about the car and finally get behind the wheel for the first time. So let's head downstairs, have some breakfast, refuel and then jump in the Ford Mustang. The fruit section. Cereal. What a nuts. Cereal. The proper section. And this looks like, I don't know what this is, this is like cheese, which kind of freaks me out and stinks. We're now up at the car park and you can see in and amongst all of the normal colored car, we have our gold chrome Mustang, but there is also another car here that has been customized and wrapped. Look at this Mercedes. This is a bit of a beast. I quite like that, but not as much as the Mustang. And today, while Sam pays the parking ticket, it is my turn to get behind the wheel for the first time. I'm excited, and I've got this narrow driveway to deal with first. I'm gonna have to reverse out. Oh, I'm excited. This is the first time that I've driven a Mustang after it came out, and um, it's been a long time coming, but now I finally get to have my chance are driving this beast. Hello. This is strange having a left-hand drive car and a nose being so big. That is the big, big, what's this? Parking brake engaged. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I feel like we're going to need to do a U-turn and go back to those lifts. No, there's um... There's a way out this way? Some... Oh, Ausfahrt! Is that a lift? Yeah, a lift? there's an Ausfahrt. We need an Ausgang. Oh no, this is it. This, this is, is the Ausfahrt. Oh! Now, and I haven't even done, left. like... <laughs> I haven't even done enough miles, really, and now I have to go in the car lift. Um, yeah, we're not going down there. No, not down the tram, though. I think it might have said, yeah. Okay, we need to go left up here. This is difficult trying to get used to a left-hand drive car. <laughs> so much hate we just got for driving yeah. past that bus stop. <laughs> In a gold Mustang. Everyone just came out and looked like they were swearing at us. Yes! Look at us Mustangs in Munich. Oh, what a... Come on. Go, 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 go. No! Where are you going? So he sounded good. Do you not want to come on a cruise with us? <laughs> yeah. You sure? What can we see? Oh, 488. 488, yellow 488. Nice. That's very nice. We've finally hit the Autobahn and uh, we're about to hit um, no limit on the speed limit. So uh, I'm going to put my foot down. First impressions on the car. I actually quite like the manual gearbox. I'm still getting used to changing gear with my right hand and my steering wheel being on the left hand side. But as cars go, this is a load of fun. It feels quite big but it's got an awesome soundtrack to it. I mean, I'm in sixth gear now, and it's just got an amazing rumble, and it goes very, very quickly. I think it's got over 400 brake horsepower. I'm going to say 435 brake horsepower, but I never trust the internet with stats. This is my point of view on the motorway, and we've got a stunning day and a Mercedes GLE. Nice. What a beautiful day. Two beautiful days to come to Germany to drive this beast. This is the rear view, no, the wing mirror view that you get. Lovely gold chrome.
do not get these roads in England. That is for sure. Oh, look Whoa. at that. Whoa. That is outrageous. The road going down there. Zigzag, yeah. Yes, Germany. You legend. Yeah, this is cool. Well, I need to get the map out because we're going to be in that town soon and that's our waypoint. Smelly around here. We are trying to get a picture of the car with the incredible background that I'm going to try and zoom in slowly to. Oh, yeah. It's good? Definitely, but the car needs to face the other way. Uh, okay. So we've got that view with all of the mountains. The car needs to face the other way? Yeah, so it's like, look. It will work nicely. You get a few of the bonus, but you can always Photoshop them out. Yeah. But if we, oh, you're giving away secrets there. <laughs> oh, so I've now got the Sony Beast out, which is the camera that I use for the majority of my car spotting. And it's also got a suction cup mount, which I'm gonna stick on the windscreen of this car. I've just filmed an intro to the video that I am filming today, which is the Mustang Phenomena and why even though this car is actually relatively cheap, £30,000 for a brand new car in 2015. What can you get for 30 grand these days? Not a lot, but yet this car looks incredible. You get a V8 and overall, everyone loves a Mustang. So I wanted to film the video, understand a little bit why, get behind the wheel and get to grips with the car, learn about its handling, learn about the engine and all sorts about its history because this car, you just can't get any better. I just don't think you can get any better for a brand new car. I think the V8 were once spec'd up as about £35,000 in the UK, which is still really, really cheap. And um, you just get an incredible looking saloon slash coupe that Ford call the pony car. This looks like the stunning lake that we are going to have our lunch stop at. I have no idea what sort of food is going to be down here, but if it's anything like in the food that we've had. Enter the roundabout and take the second exit onto Taker and Zerstrasse. <laughs> Thank you. It's incredible that they speak English, yet yeah, German at the same time. Nice, to our lunch destination. <laughs> <laughs> and we have... What? There's an Audi... There must, this must be an Audi event. Yeah, that's a you classic right Porsche. Your but that is... On the left. Silly. guidance is now finished. Um, oh, come on, look at that! That is yummy. Where do we park? We've arrived at our lunch stop, which is really, really nice. We've parked up the Mustang there, but let's just check out what the hell these Audis are doing here. This is a really awesome hotel. But this is a beast. It looks good in blue. Very similar to the one that I think was at Goodwood Festival of Speed. Nardo Grey RS6, of course, but yeah, this is so cool. We've got the um, mountains over there, and Sam is filming. I am running out of battery on this, so I'm going to transfer over to my iPhone, which I can apparently film in 4K, so hopefully the quality doesn't change too much. So now in the afternoon, I am 
Sam's cameraman, so I have his camera that you usually see him holding, and we are in this incredible place. Look at the view and the lighting behind us with the mountains, and we are just gonna try and get some really cool driving flyby shots of the car as it goes up and down the road because we found an awesome stretch of road that it is peaceful as hell around here. There's just um, nothing going on. And I've just realized that was the worst simile ever. As peaceful as hell. I'm pretty sure hell is um, completely chaotic. But this is definitely not hell. <laughs> I have been running from all the way down there on that hill. There's Sam here. Just getting some cool angles in the forest, which it's pretty cool, he's coming back now. We have hit an autobahn right here. Sam is gonna open the taps. Ooh. Open the taps. Open. <laughs> and we are now heading back to the airport. We're heading back to Munich Airport. We've got all of our bags in the boot. And um, this is just a great GT car. You could literally live in this car for about two weeks. Driving around Europe, we've discovered some incredibly cool new roads that we're definitely gonna come back and explore. The weather's been fantastic, so I think we need to come back in spring, summertime, because uh, the south of Germany definitely has some untapped roads. That coming into Friday rush hour in <laughs> Munich and we are pretty central Munich it's quite a modern tunnel this one it's nice mm. I'm sure this confined space would echo many supercar noises so we have made it to the airport we made it three hours early so that we could get a chilled dinner before we get on the flight and then we can try and tap into some free Wi-Fi so that we can update our social medias. Um, but yeah, this airport is pretty cool. It's actually really big. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be that big because the arrivals was really quite small actually. So we're at this restaurant here which looked completely dead and shut. So let's jump in this elevator and go on to... Three? Well... that's where we were, wasn't it? Where's the restaurants? I can ask that information. Okay, we're going to ask information for the restaurants. Because I think the restaurants are going to be before we go this through. This side of the yeah, I, I, I slightly agree with you. That is how you do security at the Munich airport. And she's like 60. Straight into the glass she's... window. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. Finally, we are making our flight. It's been delayed, but we are on the way back to the UK. Oh, I could have got a paper, but... I'm going to sleep. Okay, please follow the other side to all of us here at British Airways and the Mark and Denies. We'd like to welcome home our customers who live here and under it and wish those of you who are visiting an enjoyable stay. It's certainly been our pleasure to serve you. This is what we like to see at passport control. No queue. This is the first time ever, I think, arriving back in the UK and there hasn't been a queue. Friday evening is the best time to fly into London. That is for sure. It's a glimpse of our treasure. He's our golden treasure. No. He's driving on. Quick. Quick. There it is. <laughs> well, this is our car for the uh, day. Not the day. Holy moly. <laughs> Pete, how you doing? Paul. Okay, yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Good Sam. to meet you. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. You well, this... Yeah? Just...